In this video, we're going to show how to create a Firebase app and how to get a Firebase server key, which can be used for things like push notifications. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Let's get started. Step one is to go to firebase.google.com. Click this go to console button in the top right corner. Click add project. Name your project, whatever you'd like. Choose whether or not you'd like analytics in your Firebase project. That'll take you to a page like this. If you're using this for an iOS app, you'll want to click this iOS app button and follow the instructions. If you're using this for an Android app, you'll want to click this Android app button and follow the instructions. For iOS, you'll want to make sure that the bundle identifier is the same as the one in your app. For Android, you'll want to make sure that the package name is exactly the same as the one in your app. This is very important or things like push notifications won't work properly. Once you finish following the instructions to create an iOS app or an Android app, to find Find your server key, you can come up here, click this gear icon next to project overview, click project settings, go to cloud messaging. Firebase is trying to get people to start using this API v1, but sadly trying to figure out how to use it makes you want to pull your eyes out. You can watch this video on the screen to see what it's like. Most push notification services are still using cloud messaging API legacy. You'll need to enable this in order to get the server key. The way to do that is to click these three dots right here. Click manage API, click enable. That should take you to a page like this. Then just go back to your Firebase app refresh the page, and now you'll see your server key has appeared. And that has been Firebase server key in two minutes. If you're interested in turning a website into an app in two minutes, there's a video on the screen that will walk you through how to do that. Don't forget to subscribe if you like videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.